I have been watching something like such a tonal whiplash from Criminal Minds. <laughs> I went to see the new Disney movie, uh, Strange World, uh, this week, which I don't know about you, but this movie really like it almost shadow dropped for me because I had not heard about this movie at all until I saw a poster a few weeks ago going, hey, this is out like next month. Go see it. I was like, uh, oh, OK. Um, so this is like it's it's not a uh, classic Disney animation. It's 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 a CG movie, but it's um, I really enjoyed it. It's it's very much kind of journey to the center of the earth via no man's sky, aesthetically speaking. Um, it's about this kind of uh, peaceful, harmonious uh community that's beset on all sides by these high impassable mountains and no one has ever gone over them um and this family called the clades are famous explorers uh, there's a father and son um the father is intent on getting over these mountains he says it's his destiny and um while they're this is like in the opening two minutes of the movie they're like going across this hazardous mountain pass and the son finds this weird plant that has an electrical charge to it. And he's like, I think this might be a really important discovery for us. And is that not the point of the exploration? And the father basically goes off in a huff, disappears into the mist and is presumed dead for 25 years. Gotta um, love Disney and their immediate killing of parents in the yes. first two minutes oh, of they movies. Love it. They can't get enough of it. Um, but the sun returns with the plant to Avalone and it turns out this thing basically uh, kickstarts their industrial revolution. So they've got like uh, flying cars, all this fucking technology, and it's a whole community and economy based off this one plant called Pando. But uh, as, as, as these kind of movies dictate, there has to be some kind of problem that forces him back out of his comfort zone because the whole thing about the sun was... I don't want to explore. I want to do my own thing. And now he's a grown up and he's got his own son, but something is wrong with the Pando plant and they need to try and travel to where the root network of the plant, the heart of Pando and see what's going on to try and rescue their community. Uh, and, you know, maybe they may or may not bump into the father along the way. Uh, this is given away by, if you've seen any poster for the movie where the father is on it, <laughs> front and center. Or if um, you've seen any movie where somebody mysteriously disappears without explanation. Yes, yes. Um, I think this is a, a charming little movie. Um, the, um, the son, who's, uh, his name is Searcher Clade, is the most John Krasinski looking motherfucker I've ever seen to the point where I don't even need to look it up. He's definitely being played by John Krasinski. And then it was only when I got home that I found out he was actually played by Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal um, trying to set John Krasinski up for in case people don't like the movie. In an incredible bit of casting, his explorer father who disappears and is like all bluster and classic, like close your eyes and picture a turn of the century explorer. That is what he looks like. Giant mustache and all. Uh, he's played by Dennis Quaid. Very good. Which is great. Um, Lucy Liu is in it, which is great. It's great to see Lucy Liu in something. She's like the leader of the, of Avalonia, the place they live. And it's, it's just a lovely little movie. It's one of those classic Disney three and a half star. I don't think I'm going to go out of my way to see this again anytime soon. But if it pops up on TV or if like a younger cousin or something like that, I was like, oh, can we watch Strange World? I'll be quite happy to watch it again under those circumstances. Um, it, It's got the classic. There's got to be uh, <laughs> something marketable in it as like a, a cute animal or mascot for this franchise. And there's like a little amoeba looking fucker that they call Splat in it who's very endearing, very adorable. Uh, and that's they to the point where they even make a joke about how marketable he is in it. Um, I, I hope when Disney are looking over scripts like this, they're just like, I don't see a Christmas toy. Yeah. <laughs> Please rewrite until yeah. I see a Christmas toy. It needs to be more, what's the phrase they started in the 90s? Toyetic? Mm. Yeah, it's definitely one of those. And um. The the star of the show for me is there's there's a dog 
the family has a dog and it's the greatest thing in the world because they go through all this like all these harrowing adventures to try and get to the heart of Pando and everybody's in danger and there's loads of action going on. And meanwhile, if you just follow the dog's narrative, the dog is just having a great day. (laughs) The dog is like so big and dumb and blissfully unaware of anything that's happening. And he's just having a laugh riot for the whole movie. And I love that dog. It's a three-legged dog as well. And one of the things as well is I'm kind of surprised. Maybe it's because this movie has sort of flown under the radar for a lot of people. But this seems like um, one of those movies that will create right wing Twitter discourse about how the wokes are ruining Hollywood. Because one, obviously, even the dog has a disability being mm. three legged uh, Two, um searcher Clade uh, and his wife. It's an interracial marriage and their son is gay. And it's it's very heartwarming and endearing how it is not played up for, hey, look, the son's gay. It's just nobody ever kind of brings it up as a thing that's kind of, you know. With str- 17 arrows pointing at it. Yeah. Yes, yes. It's just very much a, like, because there was there's a moment where when the his grandfather, Searcher's dad, uh, Dennis Quaid's character, comes back into it. There's a moment where he's like, hey, do you have a crush on anybody? And he's like, oh, yeah, maybe. And um, he says, who is it? And he goes, his name is this. And this is where, like, in a hundred different movies of this type, you'll get the grandfather going, his name? Or, <laughs> oh, he is it? Mm. You know, something like that. Um, and Dennis Quaid just kind of rolls with it. You know, it's, 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 it's really kind of refreshing that it's, yes, it's in here, and it's cool to have that representation, but also... They aren't, like you said, pointing 17 arrows at it, looking for you to go, oh, my God, uh, let's pat them on the back for this one. Um, And like Disney Disney has done enough of that recently. Like, I feel like every film they release is actually has their first gay character in some way or another. And listen, the only way we get to that not being the case is by them doing it. Yeah, you have to get through the cringe period Mm. uh, of them congratulating themselves for it. And this is maybe one of the first ones where I don't feel like it's, they want you to congratulate them for it. This is just like, this is just a fact of the plot, like anything else. Um, there's some good laughs in there. Um, uh, not just the dog. There are some other good laughs in there. I think Dennis Quaid is great as just this like boorish, bombastic, cl- like classic kind of explorer type figure. Um, movie looks great. Um, I have to say it's really kind of bright and, and colorful and, uh, when they get to this, the the strange world of the movie, uh, it is kind of, it's really creative and fun looking. Like I said, it kind of looks like a funky, procedurally generated No Man's Sky type environment at the center of the earth. Um, but yeah, it's it's trippy and, and it's fun, but, you know, ultimately inessential, I would say. It seems like the, the kind of, you know, mid 2000s Atlantis, uh, Treasure Planet, those kind of movies. Like, yeah, nice, yeah. fun adventure movies without being particularly as an essential. Yeah. Or um, what was the uh, Road to El Dorado, mm. which I, I like, I really like, but I, I wouldn't say is in the, you know, anywhere near the top tier of uh, beloved animated features. 